Hello guys and gals, welcome to my review of the Husky Mini Fridge which I mainly use to store beers in. Right, let's get started on the review. So this is the Husky Mini Fridge that we bought. This is the Prosecco version. But basically they're just graphics on the side. I mean, they're all pretty similar. You know, it's a beer fridge, it's a wine fridge, etc, etc. Basically, it is a mini fridge. So we've got a lot of beers in there. Well, I've got a lot of beers in there. My partner's got Prosecco and wine. So you've got these nice graphics on the side of the Prosecco version. But the main thing that we're concerned about today is not what it looks like. Obviously, it does look very nice. What we're concerned about is does it keep the temperature cold? And this gives you a slight clue because at the moment I've got it turned up to number five, which is the highest, coldest setting that it will go on. And the one thing that is a bit annoying about this fridge is that the temperature setting is around the back of the fridge. So if you ever want to change the temperature, you've got to go around the back of the fridge or twist it round and change the temperature, which, you know, is a bit silly. So anyway, I've got this thermometer. So as you can see here, the ambient room temperature is about 22 degrees centigrade. And just to show you the uh, temperature of the fridge inside, I'm going to put this in and then close the door. And then I'm going to leave that for a good 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so it's now 10 or 15 minutes later, and let's have a look. And we've only got eight and a half degrees centigrade, which, you know, is pretty cold, but it's not cold enough for my beers. I like my beers about five degrees. Then why don't you just have another beer then? And then again, 10 or 15 minutes later, let's have a look at the thermometer. Let's take it out. And we've got nine degrees centigrade again, which again is not cold enough for me. Now what you find is at the back is where the, um, where the ice builds up and where it makes the fridge cold. But because there's no fan in the fridge, it doesn't circulate the cold air. So I put the thermometer with the mercury bit right at the back of the fridge where it's coldest because that's where you've got the metal plate which is creating the coldness. So now if I take it out 10 to 15 minutes later, you'll see that it's really cold. So we're looking at three and a half, four degrees centigrade. Now that is perfect. If you shovel your beers right at the back, they're freezing cold. But all the things at the bottom aren't cold enough, I find. So really, it's not perfect. It does look nice. Let's put it back in the middle again. And we're back to look 10, 11 degrees centigrade, which is really not a good temperature. As you can see, it does store a lot of cans. You've got these various trays which you can take out. You can store the bottles on the top, you can take your beers out and you can stand up probably six bottles of Prosecco in the bottom, like this. And why don't you just have another beer then? So this is the, um, the ice thing at the back which creates the coldness in the fridge. But as I said earlier, there's no fan inside the fridge, so it doesn't circulate the cold air. So everything shoved up against there is freezing cold. Everything down at the front is reasonably cold, but not cold enough for me. I mean, on a really warm summer's day, it's struggling. And as I say, I've got it on number five, the maximum setting that it so will go to. Like, yeah, intelligent input, darling. Why don't you just have another beer then? So what I'm going to do now is just take this thermometer and just put it in a normal fridge, whatever normal means, but you know, a normal food fridge. This is a fridge freezer. Put that in the bottom tray, close the door. And again, this is 10 or 15 minutes later. Have a look at the thermometer. And this is coming out at seven degrees centigrade. And we've got our fridge setting at kind of medium setting. It's not on the coldest setting. So really my advice is it does look very nice, but if you really want your beers and Prosecco to be super cold, just buy a normal food fridge and then put that in the corner if you've got enough space for it. I mean, the Husky fridge does look nice, but to me, 
it's just not cold enough. So I hope that's helped somebody out there. Cheers, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. Okay, I think I will. Thank you very much. And why don't you just have another beer then?